everybody, Drill Star and Simmons here. Hey, today I'ma just take you with me. So it's gonna be a day in the life of an AIT drill sergeant. Uh, right now I'm in our uh, drill sergeant uh, break room, if you will. But uh, not really much going on. Um, there's always a presence here in AIT, 24 hours. Right now I'm like on kind of like a midnight shift if you will but i mean we're always here basically everywhere you go there'll be a drill sign here right now i'm doing my security checks i'm basically checking all the emergency exits making sure they are secure haven't been tampered with and they're locked. Um, really not much to being on on nights when I'm uh, on duty as an AIT drill sergeant. Um, usually transition into the days, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on as far as admin wise with being on nights. And then the factor of being up pretty much almost all day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it to the nights. All right, so I'm gonna take y'all on a quick tour of the barracks, what these uh, soldiers barracks look like. So right here is just a common lobby waiting area. And then here's what their laundry room looks like. It's funny though, like if you look back there, soldiers like to hide back there <clears throat> to try to get out of PT. So when we push them out in the morning for PT, we come in here and we check and we're like, hey you, who's back there? Or we'll look, uh, visually look and Usually, mm, once a month, we, we might find a trainee back there trying to hide out. Don't understand why they always get caught. All right, so this is, turn the lights on. So they have a computer lab on each floor as well. See, I never had this back when I was in AIT. We had like a tiny little room, we might've had like, three computers, two of them were broke, but this is their computer lab. They have access to computers. If they need to get on here and do anything official, <clears throat> they can get it done. There is no excuse. All right, over here across the way is their day room. Let's see these lights come on. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> so right here we have the day room. <laughs> they got the ping pong going on. They got a high speed TV over here. Got board games and stuff, what have you. Even got a pool table over here. High speed day room. So they can just, you know, relax, chill out, and socialize on their off time. Um, there's also a day room similar to this on the main floor as well. So everything is identical throughout the barracks. And this is basically what their barracks looks like. Very high speed, nice, fairly new, um, as opposed to barracks, you know, back in the day that they already tore them down. So this is what they got. This is how they live in. All right, so this is the second floor. Uh, instead of a computer lab though, on this floor, we have a combatives gym, if you will, here. This is where we conduct our combatives training in the barracks. So um, yeah, this is it. Got the mats and everything. We also got our combatives gear and everything that we need to get these soldiers trained on level one combatants.
right here. This is where it goes down to the mat. All right, let me show y'all what one of these rooms are like. So as you walk in the room, you immediately have the bathroom, single toilet, single standing shower. Uh, it's three to a room. Everyone has their own closet. They share a sink. And uh, cannot stress enough keeping your stuff locked up. But this is what their closet looks like. There's a, a SLP for how their closet needs to be set up. And uh, they need to have their stuff locked or, or, or their stuff's gonna get tossed. But this is the room. They all get a desk and a chair. <clears throat> and then they have their twin bed like that that's pretty much it to their room three to a room I remember bays uh, I remember more than three to a room but this is what they got um, different times man So for the laundry room, they have different times and hours. This is their policy, it's posted on the door. Um, look, it says you will stay with your laundry and maintain the laundry room, meaning while doing laundry, you will sweep and clean up. You must have all, you see how it's bolded, all laundry out of the room by the hour of operation stated. So we come over here. And it is nowhere near laundry room hours. And you'll see stuff like this. Soldiers will be lazy. They'll try to get their laundry in it, but they'll either forget, leave it, or just say forget it, you know? I'll get it later. And you get stuff like this. Now the laundry. And like that, look, laundry. Holy cow. Laundry. And laundry. So. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good today. So I'm not going to mess with their stuff. Oh. It's all nice and clean too. Alright, y'all are square. Y'all are square. Yep. Um, just want you to sign out to go to our graduation. Thank you, Dresson. Yep, you're welcome. But a sprint drag carry, you're gonna be going backwards. Okay, just like the side run back. Nope. So you gotta dig in. It's better to try to keep your arms straight as possible when you're doing it and dig in and lean back. How you doing? Hey there. Everybody. You got a sign, you might as well take off with it. It's the lightest thing in the world.
I do not drag those skidcoats across the track or on the pavement. All right, so we got a PT test tomorrow, so we're setting up the lanes. Um, I already had my CQ place out the mats. Um, as y'all can see, nice and pretty in a row. I am um, trying to create me a little bit of busy work, so um, what we do is we print off um, a sheet. It has names on it, as you can see, that way they we can keep a, a nice order. We have a, a method to our system. So I'm gonna lay out these uh, sheets on the mat. I'm gonna tape them down to the mat. I'm um, just trying to do a little bit of busy work. I could probably have CQ do it, but it's a Sunday night. So I guess I'll do it. Um, Cause Sunday nights are usually pretty slow. I'm also gonna set out chairs and clipboards with uh, grater sheets on it and pins for the graders. I also forgot to mention, we go ahead and set the jerseys out as well for the uh, soldiers to put on as soon as they get on pole line. They're gonna go ahead and put their colored jersey on and they're gonna have it on the whole way through. y'all so that's it uh, everything is set up for the APFT uh, this is what it's looking like so for my graders I got them my high speed spool clipboard pen grade sheet then you got the mat if the soldier chooses to use it then you have a colored jersey and by name list for them to get in order got all of that they have about probably 80 soldiers today just running through. Anyways, that's it. <laughs>